I'm Ty Moser and this is the Mono Local Workshop. When I first upgraded my dust collector to a two-stage cyclone, I knew that I was going to have to have something to alarm myself when my dust bin was full. Now, I didn't want to put in a window, I didn't want to deal with sealing it back up, and I don't have a clear bin. And plus, even if I had a clear bin or a window, I'd probably be over there planing something down and all of a sudden this whole thing's full because I'm not paying attention to it. Not good. So I was going to come up with something with like a red flashing light, um, but you know what? Oneida Air Systems actually reached out to me and they are giving me the opportunity to try out their system. And really what it is, it's a little infrared sensor that you put right in the top of your dust bin and it turns on a red flashing light. I mean, you're gonna see that if you're over on the other side of the shop and all of a sudden you got a flashing light over in the corner. You're gonna know your dust bin's full and it is time to empty that thing. So I'm excited for this opportunity to try this thing out. To install it, I'm only going to need a couple items. I'm going to need at least one drill, measuring tape, a three quarter inch bit, a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver to adjust the depth, and just a couple screws to mount the light. I started off by removing the lid to my dust collector bin. I actually had a couple problems here because the bottom of the hose was stuck there a little bit more than I thought it was. So after unscrewing or loosening the bottom of the hose, I had to come back and loosen the top of the hose and I just end up leaving the hose on there. You'll need to drill a hole two to three inches away from the inlet of your dust bin. I didn't have a regular bit, so I used a three quarter inch paddle bit. Unfortunately, I didn't have the hindsight to put uh, something behind it, so it bent quite a bit. I ended up filing it down and then just putting a block of wood behind it and hammering it flat. After you've drilled a three quarter inch hole, you want to uh, insert the sensor and then install the rubber gasket, the rigid washer, and the plastic lock nut. At this point, you can just use your hand to test the level that the sensor is set at. There's a little controversy over the whole sawdust spark thing, but it's probably a good idea just to be safe and ground your drum. You'll want to hook up a wire to any part, any metal part in your dust drum and hook it up to your motor or a separate ground. You'll want to place the red strobe light in a place where it's going to be highly visible wherever you are in your shop. If you haven't already done so, now is a good time to adjust the depth on your sensor. You can go from 1 inch to 20 inches. I attached the grounding wire that I hooked up to my dust bin earlier to one of the motor mount bolts. I did a little bit of cable management to try to get all of the wires nice and neat and out of the way. I've had the dust sentry for a little over a month now and I have filled up my barrel at least seven or eight times in that time frame. And I can tell you this thing has like saved a lot of time because otherwise I wouldn't have been paying attention. I wouldn't have noticed that the bag underneath my filter was filling up and all of a sudden, next thing I'd know, my entire cyclone would be full, my filter would be clogged, and I'd be sitting there spending an hour cleaning it out. So I see the light, I empty it out, I'm back to work. This thing's awesome. Uh, I went ahead and I added it on the same remote that I have my uh, cyclone on, my whole dust collector on. So I turn it on. That's the only time that it's going to be detecting anything and it's going to go off. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, why don't you go ahead and share it to your friends. Give me a thumbs up, comment down below. If this is your first time here, why don't you go ahead and subscribe so you can catch some of my future videos. And also, I wanted to say thank you to Oneida Air Systems for giving me this opportunity. I'm really happy that I have this thing and it's going to save me a ton of time in the future. Well, thanks for watching. If you don't already know where you can get an awesome shirt like this, why don't you go over to monolocalworkshop.com. And if you're lucky, you'll catch a couple of cool articles while you're there.